Welcome to the CHN video for generating web view application. In this video, you'll learn how to generate a cooperative and a non-cooperative web view application. Following this, deploy the EAR file to the application server to get the web URL. Use this URL to access the application. In this video, we will use the eGolf model for generating the web view application. First we'll use a non-cooperative web view client using Gen Studio. Open Gen Studio. Open the eGolf model. Activate the web view generation tab. Click Construction and then Generation Configuration. Click Non-Cooperative and New Launch Configuration. In the main tab, select Appropriate DBMS and TP Monitor. Here I am selecting JDBC and WebView. Select the Generate RI triggers in the Launch Build Tool Generation options, and the default dialect. Click Database and select the DDL in the drop checkboxes. Click Model Object Selection, and select the Model Objects. Click Apply and Run. Build tool displays the build status of the selected modules. When all the build statuses are OK, select all the modules except DDL. Assemble the selected modules to generate the EAR file. Select the application server. Here I am selecting generic for JBoss. Select the additional files library if your model uses an external file. Include the external file from the source. Click OK to assemble. Assembling is complete. Now access the path to the EAR file. Copy the EAR file to the application server. Now we will see how to view the application through a web browser. Locate the appropriate HTML file is displayed here. Open the generated application in a supported browser. The application displays the sign-up page. Here, the application is eGolf Services. Here ends the complete cycle of generating, deploying, and launching non-cooperative application. Let's now generate a cooperative web view client. CHN server, for example, an EJB server or a C server is required to establish communication with a web view client. For details about generating an EJB server, see the relevant documentation or video. Use the comconfig.properties file, if you want to overwrite the default server communication properties. For EJBRMI, the format of server manager properties is. For Wildfly, when client and server are in the same instance, the format is. For Wildfly, when client and server are in different instances, the format is. Here, W stands for connecting to Wildfly. EAR file name, for name of the server EAR file. Initial factory class, for org.jboss.naming.remote.client.initial context factory. Name manager URL, for http, hyphen remoting, colon double slash hostname, colon port. Username is Wildfly username. And password. The Wildfly password. For JBoss EAP, when client and server are in the same instance, the format is. When client and server are in different instances, the format is. Here, J stands for connecting to JBoss EAP. 
EAR file name for the name of the server EAR file. Initial factory class for org. Wildfly. Naming. Client. Wildfly initial context factory. Name manager URL for remote plus HTTP colon double slash hostname colon port. Username is JBoss EAP username and password the JBoss EAP password. For web services, the format of server manager properties is The base URL for example is The context type is the part of the path of a gen web service endpoint URL, which can be P for procedural step name, W for wildfly, J for JBoss EAP, or L for load module name. To generate a cooperative application, go back to generation configuration, Click Cooperative and New Launch Configuration. In the main tab, keep the DBMS None, TP Monitor Web View, and select the Launch Build Tool checkbox. Click the Model Object Selection tab and select the Model Objects. Click Apply and Run. The build tool displays the generated cooperative application. Now assemble the module to generate EAR file the way you did for the non-cooperative application. After assembling, deploy the EAR file to the application server, and then launch the URL in a supported browser as you did for the non-cooperative application. For more detailed information about this product, click Resources to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths.